So this morning it's a 200 kilometer bike ride. I'm out on my bike again, as you can see. And uh, today I'm going to be doing a 300 kilometer bike ride. Paul Kirk Memorial Ride. Decided to commute all the way to the start line and get 200 kilometers in for today. It is bank holiday Sunday and I'm here right in the Cotswolds and I'm going to be doing a 200 kilometer ride. It is Saturday morning. I'm here in my home county of Lincolnshire and it's the start of a sporty, the Lincoln GP. I'm doing a slight loop at the end of this ride, popping up to 200. I'm also going to be covering 300 kilometers, half of which is the top 10 climbs. Well, good morning, folks. Thanks for joining me again. How are you doing all right? They're very comfortable. Seat in here. Oh, it's lovely. Well, hello, good morning. And it's a very cold, chilly morning. It's about minus one at the moment. Start of the 200 kilometer Bomber County Lincolnshire to Ordax. Conversations keeping me warmer anyway. <laughs> it's taking my mind off the, uh, my fingers. And I, got, I haven't got any overshoes. Nice card full of receipts. One more to go. I'm in the middle of Halifax city centre for yet another Ordax. It's the Red Rose Ride. This week in the another slice of Rutland. Well, hello and welcome to the Netherlands. We stopped in the middle of Amsterdam for some lunch. 217k today. Well, as you can no doubt see, I'm making my way down to the start line now. Joining me for the oh, Stellan Tocht. It's a 235 kilometre ride around this part of Iceland. 15,000 people leaving Bolsward over the next uh, two and a half hours. Stellan Tocht 2019. I'm leaving now, it's my final day. But first, I have got to get back to Rotterdam. So I've got a 252 kilometre ride back on friday was the summer solstice riding for 24 hours uh, as far as i possibly could well hello and good morning folks as you can see campsite yet again it's for a 200 kilometer audax around snowdonia look at that Hello and welcome to the Webby Conway 2019. Hey, it's Ricky Gully. Mariners restaurant takeaway, so I'm just going to grab some fish and chips. Oh, good morning. I've just picked up my perfect card. Lots of stamps, lots of controls. It's a 600 kilometer Audax bike ride, and there is over 6,000 meters of climbing it's here I am at Great Yarmouth and look at that I never do that like twin de Ramaraye France well hello folks and welcome to yet another vlog this video is gonna be about uh, Paris Brest Paris uh, it's my big ride I've been uh, training for a little over four days until I leave the UK the plan is, well perhaps I'll get onto the plan at the moment, but the purpose of this video is just to tell you about how I'm getting to uh, Paris, uh, my sleeping arrangements, join the ride itself, a little bit more ride, a bit more in depth about what the ride entails, the food I'm going to be taking, uh, things I'm going to be carrying on the bike in terms of clothing, luggage, uh, things like that to give you a bit of a, more of an overview of what it takes well, what it's going to take me and my arrangements for uh, competing in Paris, Brest, Paris for the first time. So, firstly, uh, so I'm going to be leaving on Thursday and travel down by car to Dover. My dad's going to has kindly offered to drive me down to Dover, and I'm going to take the bike over on the ferry. Ferry. Uh, I should arrive in Calais. Uh, I think it's about half two in the afternoon, and from there I'm going to be cycling eighty kilometers uh, straight off the ferry to the first hotel which is in Hesden in northern France that's going to be my first stop following day uh, it's a hundred plus kilometer ride I think it's about 150 kilometers and then on Saturday which is two days before I'll be riding the PBP I will be cycling the remain remainder or nearly remainder of the journey towards Rambo IA so I will be uh, I've decided I'm going to be cycling through Paris, the centre of Paris, 
So there's loads of uh, places that I'm going to be seeing in Paris. Uh, the Arc de Triomphe, Eiffel Tower, of course, Notre Dame, uh, the Champs Elysees, loads of different places because I've never been to Paris before, so uh, well, I've never been to France before. So I'd like to make the most of the of uh, the journey towards PPP and make it a holiday, really. So uh, that's my Saturday. My bike check at PPP is on Sunday at quarter to ten in the morning. Uh, I've got a sleeping package arranged as well. So I don't need to worry about sleeping on Sunday evening because that's been arranged. I paid for meal as well. So I've yet to tell you, but my uh, start time is on the Monday. I think if you've uh, if you're familiar with PVP, you would have gathered that already. And my start time is 5 a.m. So I'm in the first group out on the Monday morning. As for the return journey, I'm still undecided, but it's looking likely that I will take the train home from Paris to Calais uh, as late as possible really, probably during the Sunday when I'll be catching the ferry back to Dover. Which means in the uh, those uh, two, three days post ride, I'll be able to uh, just relax for a couple of days, be a tourist, just uh, sample France. I've already been asked on uh, Instagram and on YouTube what is my sleep and nutrition strategy. So let's talk about uh, sleep first. 1200 kilometer ride so you've got three and a half days to do it so I'm going to be dividing the distance by three which is obviously 400 kilometers so that's two sleep spots planned uh, the first one is after 450 kilometers which will take me to Ludiac I think I can probably do the 450, 445 kilometer in about 23 hours a day is what I'm aiming for basically. So that will mean I'll arrive in uh, Ludiac about 4am Tuesday morning. I'll be able to get about 4 hours sleep. So my next sleep top stop will be after 416 kilometres and that will be in uh, Tontaniac. And that again that will be uh, 24 hours later. Hopefully that will be in the region of half 8 Wednesday morning, plan to get another four hours sleep, leaving at lunchtime. Uh, that will leave me the remaining distance to reach Rambu IA at 362 kilometres. So I should be able to uh, complete that final stage easily under 24 hours. In fact, my target time is 73 hours for the entire ride, which would mean I, I should finish 8 a.m. Thursday. These are, of course, these are. This is my best case scenario. I have got till Thursday 7 p.m. to actually finish the ride, so that's a good margin for error they are built in. The other question that has been raised, I want to talk about further, is nutrition. Not got a big plan based around nutrition. I can tell you on food I'm taking with me because uh, it will be very little. I'm going to be taking a single tube hydration tablets uh, tablets for the uh, PBP itself I'm not planning on using it on the rest of the trip uh, and I won't be taking tons of food but what we'll be taking is a handful of oat bars and protein bars as well and no doubt a couple uh, energy gels the rest of the time I will be eating sensibly at uh, the checkpoints there will be times where I will need to have a proper meal and may have to coax myself into ensuring that I actually eat those. But in general, I will be eating as normal in terms of how I, how I have throughout the last 12 to 18 months on other long distance rides. So I'm going to be trying to do f eat normally basically and stick to foods that I'm familiar with and just, just eat sensibly. Uh, don't overeat and don't undereat. Um, I should probably take a moment just to talk about the weather. It's the 11th of August today as I'm recording this, so they're still eight days away. But right now the uh, forecast is for temperatures in the low 20s. Sunshine and showers basically. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that weather is not going to change a great deal between then and now. So that would be perfect for me and probably for many riders, including yourself if you're taking part. So I'm hoping the weather sticks to what's forecast at the moment. It's probably a good idea just to tell you about my journey from January last year through to now. Because, well, in January I only really joined Ordax. 
Um, I, PvP was talked about with the riders and friends I, I rode with. A distance of 1200 kilometers, regardless of how long it would have to take, was it just blew my mind. I, I would never dream of doing that sort of distance. And a little over a week away, I won't. I will actually doing that. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be quite a challenge. If you're a regular visitor to my channel, you'll see that I've done lots of rides in that time. Uh, even though I've only been recording since September of last year, just under a year ago now, I've done a hell of a lot of training. So many 200km rides, so many 300s, a couple of 400s and a couple of 600s. So, um, lots of night riding. You know, I'm prepared physically as I possibly can be. It's very much a mental thing now. Um, so, yeah, this is my first PPP. It's going to be quite an interesting three and a half days. So I'm going to finish off this video now with a tour <laughs> of the things that I will be taking along with me. So uh, yeah, let's go get my luggage and uh, yeah, show you just exactly what I will be taking with me. Let's start with the obvious stuff. I have a waterproof gilet. It's only a, a thin one for a little bit of rain. I may, I'm confident that I'm going to be taking this, but I also want to take uh, my fla my DHB Flashlight Pro. I will be able to uh, put this on top quite easily on top of the saddlebag and attach it with one of these cargo nets. So I've still got a bit of question about what I'm going to do with these, but I'm pretty confident I'll be taking them both. Uh, so, cycle helmet. This is the cask. I have a old Tora Vortex waterproof uh, seat pack and this is purely going to be full of clothing and I've got three spare uh, jerseys there's going to be a spare, there's a pair of shorts in there, some socks uh, and a t-shirt or two I've just actually realised I need to take some sandals with me or perhaps we'll buy some cheap ones over there and just chuck them after the holiday. That seems more likely. Uh, so yeah, that's literally got loads of clothing in it. And I'll be changing out of the sleep stops into those clothing really. Uh, in here, let's just unzip this. This is the restrap frame bag. And on one side, we've got quite a few bits and bobs. Some Haribos. So I've got three packets of Haribos in there. I have got this... Uh, Okay, we call it, it's like a blade. These are to cut tie wraps with. Plug in there for my phone. I will be carrying along a international adapter thing. Uh, a lock, got some uh, fabric tape in there. Packets of paracetamols. The only thing you see in there, but I've got some batteries tucked away. Some AAA batteries for the front and rear lights, the ones which are battery powered. Because uh, I'm going to enjoy a chamois cream. And I've got this 220,000 mAh uh, power bank for charging my back, charging my lights, uh, the, the what else? Uh, the Wahoo, and my phone as well for the entire time. We've actually got two of these. But I'll show you the second one in a second. We've also uh, got an inner tube in there, a torch, a multi tool. Uh, what else am I looking at? Some uh, tire levers. There's a torch. Right, so that's one side. I'm going to swiftly spin it around and do it with one hand. There we go. Uh, I won't open it all the way, but I've got an arm warm in there. I've got a base layer for the chilly nights, for a buff for the chilly nights as well. I was talking about nutrition earlier. Obviously, I haven't taken anything out of the boxes yet, but I've got these banana toffee protein bars, uh, the oat flapjacks. So they're like a nice breakfast item. Got six there, may not take them all. I've uh, got a couple cheap protein bars from Home Bargains. Uh, and a couple gels for emergencies. And of course, I've got a tube of hydration tablets. Wouldn't be without those. We've got a front light, and I may well be taking another light as well, in addition, because I might have three lights, in addition to these two. Because I've got that cat eye bolt, 1200. Oh, one of these cheaper cat eyes as well. But I think I might need a third one. So I've got the Wahoo uh, bolt there. I will, of course, need to take a passport and entry form for the bike check for PP. 
sleeve here for some uh, euro notes and some coins as well got those left from my last holiday so there and there this bag will contain all the food it's the outkit uh, stem cell xl uh, i've got actually got a waterproof one as well i may end up taking the waterproof one along with me back this way so i've got a power pack in here a couple usb leads so that will contain my money and my passport pair of bib, bib shorts uh, i've got these out I left these ones out because i'm going to be wearing these i don't want to pack them away as same situation with the jersey pair of gloves a usb lead this is the usb c for this is for both the phone and for the uh, charging the GoPro batteries which is this unit here of course I'll be taking the GoPro with me and hoping to do a vlog so that will go along and of course a Wahoo heart rate monitor and a pair of protective glasses as well and like I mentioned at the top of the video today is Sunday I won't be leaving until Thursday so I've not packed anything away yet there's going to be a few items that I may have forgotten um, so I will be double and perhaps triple checking that I've got everything that I do need all that needs to be put onto the bike it's not an, it's not going to be an easy ride uh, 1200 kilometers that's a lot of time on the saddle three and a half days but I'm excited to get over there now I've worked so hard I've trained so hard over the last year plus I look forward to uh, getting over there whilst I'm over in France I will of course be updating my uh, Instagram feed and I may do the odd Facebook live or Instagram stories or whatever it's called um, Maybe I'll put an impromptu video on YouTube. If you've got any comments or any questions Pop them in the comments area below if you'd like to follow my PBP journey Click the subscription button and of course that when you hit the bell as well you get those notifications up on your phone for me take care I will see you in France. Bye-bye.